20 things you maybe didn't know about Arknights. Medals have thoughtful designs. At first glance many of the medals will seem like they have random patterns or some strange choice of letters and numbers, but upon close inspection you'll be able to tell what each of them mean. The 100 days medal has a 1, and 2 zeros on top of one another. The 1 year medal has the letters S, A, and W, but if you look closely you will see in small print that they are the words spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And the CN medal for 2 years has a 7, 3, and a 0, they represent 730, which is the number of days in 2 years. Shop icons are all rotated slightly to the side, but will rotate back to normal when you tap them. Basic skill activations effects will have different colors depending on the character. Enemies have red, non-medics have orange, and medics have green. Depending on what stage mode you are playing on, the color and icon for the start button will look different. Practice modes will look blue, normal modes will be orange, and challenge modes will be red. Sargon is often compared to the country Brazil, but it is actually much more similar to the continent Africa as a whole, in how there is a wide range of environments. From rainforests and waterfalls, to never-ending deserts. Another similarity it has to Africa is how Sargon has one main language that being Sargonian, but the region has dialects so different to one another that the residents can't understand each other, almost as if they actually spoke a different language. Similarly as stated before, the Terra world map is heavily inspired by world history. And although many regions are similar to what we know in real life, like Ursus being Russia and Yen being China, or Korea, there are actually no human inhabitants in this world except for the Rainbow Six Siege Squad, as stated in their event story. And even though there are no humans in this world, the population as a whole is still referred to as humans and humanity. When you go to buy a skin or to swap an operator's art for a skin, on the bottom right of its SD sprite, you see a shape that has a color different to the one on the top left. However, the shape with color on it will be the one on the top left for skins, having the one on the bottom right as the generic color. That color is not restricted to anything, and it will vary depending on every operator's color scheme. Up to this day, the Trio Texas, Lapland, and Exu, on trading posts remain one of if not the best possible combination for it. With only a few being able to perform similar to them, such as the Trio Silver Ash, J and anyone with a skill like Orchids. There are a number of operators with a really fast attack speed on skills, like Eja, at 0.5, and Exu, at 0.78 but the operator with the fastest possible attack speed without any buffs is actually Angelina during S2, at 0.285, with B-Hunter, at 0.312, as a close second. Both of these operators are significantly faster than any other character in the game. Skyfire has a QR code on her Elite Zero art, and if you scan it you will be taken to a Google search for Renatus. You may get a map of the UK at first, but that's one of Skyfire's artist names. They are known as Toki, Renatus Z, and Renatus Wu. They have profiles in Weibo, Twitter, and Pixiv. Similar to Skyfire's QR code, whenever you pull an operator from a bag you get a resume, and on that resume you can see another QR code. This one will take you to Arknight's global official website. We all know that when you put an enemy asleep you cannot deal damage to them, but it goes further than just that. Asleep enemies will also be immune to HP loss per second passives, such as Originium tiles on the ground. Damage from Aeostas, Thorns and Blue Poisons bleed mechanics are also negated, and even Lava tiles will have no effect when enemies are put to sleep. However, our best girl Maria, is a merciless killer and she will prey upon those who fall asleep in battle. She shall not show mercy on her enemy. Amira is the only character who has ever gotten the change in 2D art with her Elite 1 promotion. Completely ignoring the fact that she is the only one to unlock an altar, and still count as one operator unlike Lava, Spaddy, and Shen. 
On your support unit slots, the first spot can only be a 5 star or lower, but you can also leave any slot open, and put operators on just one or two of them, not necessarily the first one. You can also view your friend's supports closer if you go to friends, and then tap on their operators, but for some reason you cannot check their potentials. On your profile you can change the color and the size of your message. However it does take quite a bit of room so you may not have much space to add anything else once it is done. In the base you can check the previous day's productivity on the far right if you tap on the control center, and then base assistant. But you can also expand that by tapping this to see 3 days of productivity. Currently, before Glagia's release, the Abyssal Hunters are lazy fucks that will do absolutely nothing in the base for you. But once Glagia is Elite 2, you can have plus 0.9 productivity on all factories in the base at once, but its only drawback is it will be capped at 0.9, and cannot go beyond that. But this alone is one of the best base skills up to date, as it is difficult to have plus 0.9 in more than one or two factories. Stories have synopsizes that will show up just before you skip one. But you can also access these synopsizes by going into the archives, intelligence, and then selecting a specific story from an event. Just before you go to read it the synopsis will show up. However, for main story stages these synopsizes will only appear as you are about to skip them. And now, the most lap dumb one for last. There are real actual speedrun categories for Arknights in speedrun.com. Those being 112, 112 any percent, 112 summoners only, main account allowed, beating Annihilation 1 in a new F2P account, and the worst one of them all, starting from 01, beat 616 any percent, it has to be a new F2P account like the others, except summoners only. For a lot of these I actually learned myself whilst looking around, I also learned a few new things, so I hope you did as well. I do of course imagine that everyone should already know a couple of these things before watching, but at least some should have been a surprise to hear. Thank you for listening, I hope you learned something new, and remember to always pat your croc.